Welcome to the UGC lecture series. This is the EPG Patashala lecture series on computer science and we are talking about the subject data structures. In this particular module, we will be talking about a special type of data structure called trees. This is a, a type of tree, but it is a different type and specifically meant for lexicographic or uh, numerically ordered searching. Okay. So, we will go into detail about this as we go along. Now, these are the people responsible for the uh, creation of this particular module who have uh, contributed to the development of this module. Now, let us first look at the learning objectives of this module. This module, first we will have to understand the concept of trees. This is different from uh, ordinary trees and all the trees we have seen up to now because most of the trees, the balance trees we searched, uh, looked for at up to this point was based on searching for an item. But here also we are searching for an item, but we are doing it in a slightly different way, way where we do not store the complete key. We will come to that as we go along. Then we are going to discuss some properties of tries and then we are going to look at uh, different operations that we can do with tries and then there are different types of tries. So, we look at that also and uh, then uh, we will look at um, substring and uh, tries and such as some of the terms associated with this module. So, uh, first let us look at tries, it is uh, it's pronounced as tries, I will tell you why as we go along. So, uh, let us look at some background for this. So, when we are searching for a name called Smith in a phone book, we try to first locate the group of names starting with S, then within those we search for those uh, with M coming after S, then within those we search for the I coming after S and M and so on. So, this is how we normally carry out our search. So, this is the property that we are going to use for in, uh, in trees. So, idea perform a search based on the prefix of the key rather than the complete key or the whole key which we have done up to now. Up to now we have searched for the whole key. Here we are going to perform a search based on the prefix of the key. So, the branching is determined by a partial key value that means by a prefix value or a partial value not the complete key. So, the branching is not determined by the com complete key and each node branches out as uh, so, there is no binary, it is not a binary tree, it is not a three way tree or four way tree. The, the, the branching of the tree is determined by the number of characters that can occur in the key. Number of characters could be numerical, character, uh, numerical numbers or could be uh, alphabetic characters. So, depending upon how many characters are there in the, in the key, uh, there many, that many branchings will be there. We will come to that uh, little more detail. Okay. So, uh, let us go some more. So, what we are trying to say up to now is all the branch searching methods of trees, balance trees, whatever we had, we have seen so far compare entire keys during the search. So, that is what we have lo looked at up to now. So, now why not consider a key to be a sequence of characters, letters or digits for example and use these characters to determine a multi-way branching at each step. So, we, now we are looking at a key not as a whole key, but as a sequence of characters and we are you going to use these characters to determine the multi-way branching of the key, not the alphabetic order alone. Okay. If the keys are alphabetic names, for example, we may make a 26 way branch at each step. So, it is a um, basic because you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K and so 26, you could have had a cal capital letter separately, that is a different way. But here we will talk about a 26. Suppose it is a numerical, the case are natural numbers, only natural numbers to the base 10, then you can have a 10 way branch. So, the branching of the tree, multi way branching of the tree is determined not by what type of tree it is, but is determined by the number of characters that can occur in the key. And it is a similar to a thumb that you place, thumb index in the directory, similar to that is this. And why is it called try? That is very interesting because it is meant for retrieval and the TRIE of retrieval has been taken and uh, this tree is based on, I mean named after that. So, that is why it is called try and it is normally TRIE and pronounced as try that we have, normal try, TRY try, it is pronounced the same way. Okay. Now, let us take an example. So, tries are appropriate when many words begin with the same sequence of letters. For example, what we mean by this is snap okay, um, or something else, let us take um, uh, constant, uh, constant and uh, consider, all those start with the same prefix con. 
con so if you have a large number of words with, that start with the same prefix or sequence of characters then try is very appropriate when the number of distinct prefixes among all the words in the set is much less than the total length of the all the words so if you take the total length if the prefixes is are less than and they are common then that means they have to be common then you go for try each path now this is a different way in which the trees are um, organized so that we have to understand each path from the root to the leaf corresponds to one word of the represented set so here not like before where we use the branching to go to the actual key which will be stored at the leaf it's here it's not like that you, the path from the root to the leaf gives you the actual word nodes of the tri correspond to the prefixes of the words in the uh, set in the complete set of words so we are talking about a set of words so let's look at it again so the stand, there are different types of tri uh, what are uh, so we will distinguish a normal uh, uh, tri as a standard tri and the standard tri for a set of string s is an ordered tree such that uh, each node but the root is labeled with a character so each node is labeled with a character except the root and the children of the node if you have the children they are alphabetically ordered that's why it's called an order tree so suppose you have a uh, um, the alphabets of uh, i mean the characters of alphabet will be uh, it will be in the order of a to z in that order or 1 to 0 to 9 or whatever so it's alphabetically ordered the parts from the external nodes to the root yield the strings of s all the strings of that particular set of strings so strings of s so a uh, st standard try uses now we are talking about the space requirement it uh, uses approximately of the order of n space where n is a number of words and operations is find insert and remove typical operations on any data structures will take uh, of the order of dm uh, size i mean time where n is the total strength the size of the strings in s total size m is the size of the string parameter of the operation whatever operation you want to find that is how many what do you want to find the number of uh, characters in that string and d is the alphabet size so for example if you are talking about uh, alphabets then you are talking about 26 is the um, alphabet size if it's numerals it's uh, uh, 10 is the size so that's what we are talking about so dm size of the string that you actually want to use in the as a parameter in the operation will determine the order of the operation the time taken now let us take an example of a trace this is very important to understand this example so the set of strings mat mad am and bad uh, is represented on the left hand side by a binary search tree which you already we have studied all of us have already uh, looked at and if you look at that what if you, this is a normal binary search tree so mat is coming as a root because it's the first word uh, mat will come as a root mad will come on the uh, left hand side only so am and bad so instead of mad uh, let us look at it as having uh, uh, mass okay mass will come on this side so this is a typical binary search tree now let us look at this as um, instead of having a, a binary search tree let us look at, at it as a try now look at this what we have is the first root node is starting and with the root node you will uh, associate the alphabets that come here so there are three a b and m there are three um, th uh, the starting prefixes are a b and m so you put a b m note that they are in alphabetic order then next is a uh, now when you come to a the next letter that you need there is m so there finishes m and then note that how the edges are noted by the and m there is only one because the second can be only after a can be only m so there is only m and you have a m we will see many examples this is an example now after b you have only a and after a there after b a actually you are looking at b a you have only d so all these are only one single uh, branch type of nodes and you have bad now look at m after m the next uh, prefix uh, that comes with m is m a so after m you have only a but after a you could have had m a you could have had either d or t so that comes again in alphabetic order d mad and mat so this is a typical example of a try and this is an example of a try for the words mat mad am and bad okay and please note that these tries are irrespective of the order in which the it's a set it's irrespective of the order in which the words come now um, let's look at the properties of a try so it's a multi-way tree for storing strings in which 
there is one node for every common prefix. So, every common prefix will have a node and the strings are stored in the leaves, actual strings will be stored in the leaves. Each node has 1 to d children, what is d? d is the um, size of the alphabet. Each edge of the tree is labeled with one character and each leaf node corresponds to the stored string which is a concatenation of, of all the characters that come from the path in the path from the root to the leaf. So, that is the leaf node to this node, whatever particular node, not even leaf node. Now, let us take another example to understand this a little better. So, as already spoke, uh, we have discussed, try is a data structure for storing a set of strings and it has come from the word uh, retrieval. Now, look at this, you have, uh, let us assume that this is a small assumption we are making that all the strings uh, end with dollar. That is not in the sets yes of words, but it is, uh, we are assuming that it, and we are assuming that this dollar does not come as a valid character in any of the words, that is the assumption we are making. So, uh, let us look at this set of strings, bear, bid, bulk, bull, sun and Sunday. So, if you start with, now let us look at this, bear, bid, bulk, bull, all start with B and uh, then you have two words, sun and Sunday, both starting with S. So, your initial root word will have only two characters, B and S, okay. Now, after B, the next one, uh, after B, you have E, I and U. So, B node, I mean after that, the node coming after B will have three children in that order, alphabetic order E, I, U. So, that is what is there as you can see. Now, uh, after S, you have only one, that is U. And after U, uh, that S, U, S, U for both Sun and Sunday. So, you have S, U, S, U. And then after S, U, you have S, U, N and S, U, N in both the words Sun and Sunday. So, you have S, U, N uh, coming common. Now, please note, this is the difference between the previous example and this example. After N, you have a special uh, character called dollar, which indicates that Sun is a word by itself. After that, you have DAY and dollar. So, that finishes sun and Sunday. Now, let us go back to this B E, we have finished up to B E, B E I and B U. Now, after B E, you have E A R and dollar, I D and dollar, U. Now, if you look at bull, bulk and bull, up to bull they are common, after that bull you have L and K coming separately and then the dollar sign. So, this is a typical example of a um, try where the dollar sign indicates the end of the word for you. So, sun if you do not put the dollar sign, you do not know that sun is a valid word, okay. So, that is why you have the dollar there, okay. Another example of uh, um, try, uh, so again we are putting dollar at the end of each word. The try corresponds to the set, now please note every try corresponds to a set of words, that is what we are trying to say here. And um, uh, so, you can have the, then, tin, tin, sin. Sing. And each node can have at most 27 children. Why 27? Because you have 26 alphabets as well as dollar. So, you can have at the most uh, 27 children. Now, uh, we have taken this set so that you know you have a lot of common prefixes. That is one of the, uh, um, the, the um, you to, uh, one of the issues that I mean one of the characteristics that we said that you uh, try is appropriate when there are a lot of prefixes. So, if you look at this, we start with the, then, uh, thin, tin, sin and sing and uh, you have only two alphabet starting prefixes which is T and S. So, uh, in alphabetic order from the root you have T and S. So, that finishes the first part. Now, you take after T what all? Now, if you take after T, you have H coming in 3 and I coming in 1. So, after T, the prefixes are H and I. So, after T, you have H and I on the left hand side. Now, after T H, let us see what comes. So, you are now you are at T H, after H what comes? E comes and I comes after H. So, you have after H you have H and I. Now, uh, after H you have E and I. We will finish that uh, left hand side first. So, now you have finished with T H E, T H E N and you have finished T H E, T H E for the then and T H I. Now, after that T H E, please note you have a um, dollar there saying that that is a word by itself. That is why we are using the dollar, please understand that. Now, when you take then, you after the E you put a N, after the N you put a dollar indicating that it is then. Now, after in thin, what do you do? You put uh, THI, put a N and put a dollar. 
Okay. So, that finishes this side and then tin again. Now, if you come to s, up to s i n, it is a common prefix. So, s i n after n, there is a dollar indicating that sin itself is a word or, or it is a dollar or g. So, g says after the g you have a dollar for sin. So, now you understand why dollar also becomes part of the branches needed and so together you have 26 plus 1, 27 children for each node and a leaf reached by an edge is labeled by dollar and it has no children that is obviously that you have seen from the example. So, this is another example for this particular set. Now, this is a compact tri as it is called where the alphabets consist of A, P, S, T only those words I mean those letters or characters and the words are A, A, P, T, A, T, P, A, T, PASS, PAST, P, S, S, A, P, S, A, T and TAP. So, if you look there you have a hash sign and A, P, S, T. So, A goes there. Now, from A you can have uh, P, uh, just A or you can have A, P, T or you can have A, T. Then from P you can have P, A uh, and uh, you have PA and you have only P uh, and uh, PS. You have PA and PS. PS itself is a word. From uh, the next one, yes, you can have yes, A only, so one. And from T, you have only tab. There is no other prefix issue, so directly tab. So that is what he says. Slightly different. Why is it compact? I will explain. Then, uh, if you look at uh, A, after that, there is no prefix coming, so you just take the letters. In uh, P, you have uh, pat, pass, past, PS. PS is over. Now, in pat and pass, uh, T and S you have. So, T and S is separate. Pat comes and pass you have S and T. So, that is taken. Now, these are the leaves. These are the internal nodes as, uh, as seen. Now, why is this called a compact tray? Right? If you do not have a prefix, directly the word is stored. For example, tap. Tap is the only word. And it is not common among other words, so tap is given directly. Now, if you take um, another A is coming separately, but A has 3 that is coming there. After that, there is no commonality. A comes as it is. A next is P is the prefix, I mean uh, A P is the prefix, A T is the prefix. So, there directly. So, this way you do not keep on draw, uh, um, having, otherwise for tap you would have had a separate T A P dollar separately or just T A P. So, that you are avoiding with this compact tray. So, it is just trying to compact or compress the tray that is it. Okay. Now, let us look at tri nodes as an ADT. A node in a tri can be viewed as a mapping whose domain is from if it is an alphabet uh, uh, set of alpha, uh, words having alphabets A, B, Z to dollar and whose value set is the type pointer to the tri node. A tri can be identified with its root and ADT is tri and the tri node are both uh, same but their operations will be different. Now, let us look at the operations on tri nodes. One is assigned no, assign node C comma P, assign the value P a pointer to a node to a character C in the node node that is the meaning of assign. Value of node C produces a value associated with the character C in that particular node and get new node make a value of a node for character C be a pointer to a new node when you have to do the during the construction. And make null node makes node to be a null node in case there is uh, no further prefixes or words coming. So, an, another example of a try this time with a numerical example is using uh, assume that we have the following keys like 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 2 and 2, 1. If you see uh, here just look at the way each we are representing as a 10 member node because 0 to 9. Now, you start with 0 in this particular example that we have, we have only 0, 1, 2. So, the prefixes start with the starting let, uh, numbers are only 0, 1, 2. So, you have only 3 branches from the root. Now, from 0 you, you just go to 0 and just directly point to 0 because there is no other uh, node with 0 or a key with 0. Now, if you take 1, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 starting with 1 and the next uh, number after 1 is 0 or 1. Uh, only here. So, in the next uh, from 1 you will have 0 and 1 coming okay? and we will follow it later. From 2 you can have 2 itself or 2 1 that is all. Now, let us see how it is looked at. Now, from 0 you have a node and then directly a pointer to 0. 
Now, if you take 1 0 from 1 you have a pointer to a node and from that node you have a pointer to either 0 I mean you have a uh, 0 or 1 if you, it goes to 0 then it is 1 0 if it goes to 1 it is 1 1 and the same node is used to again point to give you 1 1 0 or 1 0 uh, uh, okay in 1 0 you have two cases 1 0 0 or 1 0 1 so that is shown there and in 2 you have either just 2 or 2 1. So, this is a typical uh, example and notice that the root does not store the actual data it is the other nodes that store the actual data. Now, let us see some operations on this conceptually at least. So, let us say we want to search for 1 1 0 you start from 1 go to 0 and uh, so this is the flow from uh, 1 you go and then from 1 you go again and then again from 0 you go so you will reach 1 1 0 so that is the flow. Now, um, now, if you want to uh, insert uh, words in a try, uh, now you cannot have, I mean you may have the same words coming, then what do you do? So, insert the words of the text into a try, each leaf is associated with one particular word, but here the difference is, this is as usual in a try. The difference here is that leaf stores indices whose associated word begins, where it begins, instead of actually having the word there like we had before, we will have the indices of word where the word is starting. For example, if you start, if you see there, uh, if you follow the node, you have S E E and S E E starts at 0 and 24 in your uh, representation, it is a 0 to 88 uh, representation, it starts at 0 and 24. So, those 0 and 24, the leaf tells you where C will be there. So, instead of having the character there, we are actually using the, um, the index into the um, text where it is stored. Now, let us go back to the previous example we were looking and suppose we want to insert 2195 into this try. Okay. So, now you have up to 21 as a prefix. So, you have to just add uh, 1 where that, that first node on top stands for 219 and the next node stands for 5. So, you have to point to 5 and then finally 2195. So, this is an insertion. So, you have to first search for where to insert as usual and then do this. Now, let us look at deletion. Now, if you want to delete 10 for example, you just have to delete the node 10 and finish it off that is all. Now, suppose I want to delete 110, then what you do is you delete now uh, you delete this node, then because there is only one pointer there delete this node. Now, that is it. So, this is your um, so, you will uh, please note how the deletion goes up the tree. If you have only one node pointer and that uh, the, the node to which it is point two is, 2 is deleted, the previous node also has to be deleted. I will just show you this once more. So, this is 110 from the node in the second uh, root and the first level, you had a pointer to two things and from the second level, you had only one pointer. So, now this node is deleted. So, that goes both goes and this is what happens. Now, uh, let us look at an analysis of tries. The number of steps required to search in a try or to insert into it is proportional to the number of characters making up the key, not the key itself or the or the height of the tree or anything like the, uh, that. It is based on the number of characters. If we have numbers in the range 0 to 99999, we have at most 6 steps to reach a key, that is all. Remember the multi-way pathing ensures this. If the number of characters is small relative to logarithmic 2 or the number of keys, a try may be superior to a binary search tree also. If key consists of all, it depends on the characteristics of the key and the number of prefixes that exist. So, 999999 numbers in the range 0 to that. Uh, we have at most 6 steps to reach a key, whereas the binary search would take 20 steps approximately. The best solution may be to combine both the methods, use binary search tree as well as try. We are not going to discuss that in this particular module, but this is a also a possibility. Of course, the condition here is it seems magical that I can do it in 6 steps, but then there should be enough prefixes among the keys, otherwise this does not work out. If it is all of them are just no prefixes at all, then it is a very, it is not a very good way of doing things. Now, advantage is the height of the tree depends on the length of the keys and a try can be used to store very large set, but the height and therefore the search time is very short application in spell checker in verb search engine very good very uh, very 
uh, an example that is very relevant today search by index word and network router where you want to search by IP address, IP address. As you can see all these three places try is a very good um, uh, data structure to use. Uh, especially since we can assume or we can uh, assume that lot of words will have prefaces associated with it. Okay. Now we go to the compressed try. So many nodes have few non-null pointers. So we would like to save space. So the idea number two is we have discussed that uh, compressed try where we interleave the arrays in the nodes. Minor disadvantages and unsuccessful search may take more steps to end. That's the only issue. So this is an example of a uh, compressed tray. So, what you do is replace a chain of one child nodes with an edge labeled with a string. So, for example, uh, B you have after B all of the rest uh, on the left hand side E A R dollar all of that is one child nodes. So, instead of having E A R uh, all separately you just join it together and you have E A R dollar. So, that is for um, the first step. Similarly, in B I D dollar after the, the id dollar can be stored together in b u l l and b u l k up to that remains as it is but k dollar and l dollar can be stored together the sun dollar remains uh, sun can be common because all of them are one child but after that there is a difference so this is an uh, co compressed representation of a tri so here what we are doing is when there is one child you do not go and represent it as a multi way path this is what you are doing you represent it by the string itself. So, each non-leaf node except root will have at least two children that is the only condition that we have here. So, that is uh, uh, we do not have a one child at all. We'll, we ensure by the organization of the tri that we have at least two children. So, this is another example of uh, the tri where we have taken uh, words. So, P1 stands for the pointer to another node. So, node 1, node 2, node 3 we have. So, now we have compressed it where we have only one letters. Next type of trees is what is called as suffix trees. So, here a suffix tree for a string p of length m is a rooted tree such that it has exactly m leaves numbered 1 to m okay, that is the string's length. Here all these trees we are all types of trees we are talking about the string length. Every edge has a label which is a substring of t and every internal node has at least two children labels of two edges starting at an internal do, do not start with the same character. Now, let us look at this and the label of the path from the root to the leaf is numbered um, is the suffix of t uh, numbered i is the suffix of t starting at position. So, let us look at this a suffix tree of an m character string s is rooted directory with exactly m leaves number from 1 to m each internal node other than the root has two children and no two edges can have same edge labels. So, this is what we are going to try to say. So, for example, let us assume look at the suffix tree. Please note this is for each and every string. So, let us look at the suffix string for x a b x a c. So, here you have the substrings x a b x a c a b x a c that is all the substrings you can see b x a c uh, x a c a c and c and so you have here x a b x a c and then since x a is common uh, in the later part you have x a c coming from there itself. So, x a b x a c and x a c are put together. Now, you have a b uh, a c okay, a b I am sorry a yeah a b x a c a b x a c and you have a c coming. So, that is taken from there then you have uh, uh, b x a c that uh, is separately and then you have c. So, this is how the suffix tree looks like. So, what you have done is you have taken a string and divided it into substrings and then you are trying to join substrings that are common. Okay. So, the suffix tree take, uh, so you take any m, m character string s like x a b x a c that is what we had and you have this is the set of keywords is a set of su suffixes of s if it is so then suffix tree is essentially the keyword tree for this set of suffixes. So, what are the changes? No suffix is a prefix of another suffix can be a substring, but not a prefix. I ensure this uh, by adding a character dollar to the end of uh, yes. An internal node except root must have at least two children edges can be labeled with strings. So, this is the suffix tree and uh, 
the label of a path from root r to the node v is the concatenation of the labels of the edges which you have already seen. String the, uh, the label of a node v, l of v is the path label from r to v and string of uh, depth of v is the number of characters in v's label l and uh, the comment that we make is in constructing su suffix trees we need to be able to split edges in the middle. So, how do we use suffix tree in exact matching? So, build the suffix tree, match pattern, this is ba basically for pattern matching especially when you are having a search key. So, match pattern p against tree starting at root until p is completely matched, every leaf below this match point is a starting location and no match is possible, p does not occur. So, this is the illustration of this, so this is the example of the, the what we have seen. So, p1 is x a and uh, p2 is x p, so you have that there. And next you have what is called as patricia trees, this is a sometimes the actual set of keys is a small set subset of a potential set of keys. This may result in a large number of nodes having only one descendant which we tackle in a different way in compressed trees. We would like to have save some space, so idea is make the tree more compact by collapsing long chains. Resulting tree is called the patricia tree, practical algorithm to retrieve information called um, coded in alphanumeric, so this is specific for alphanumerically coded uh, information. Collapse chains of nodes that have only one child, for each branch indicate how many characters should be skipped, this is the difference, even there we collapsed, in compressed tries also we collapse, but here what we do is th there is an indication of how many characters to speak, uh, skip, that is what is the length of the collapse chain is also indicated. So, let us take, uh, this is especially good for text searching, specifically designed for that and you replace subwords by a reference position, so j in the blue j is 10 comma 3. So, internal nodes keep the only the length and the first letter of the phrase, they do not store the complete phrase and external nodes keep the position of the phrase in the text like which you saw before, so that is the patricia. So, this is an example of a patricia tree, as you can see what we, what we have done is we have just stored the positions, so you will see there 3, 2, those are positions that we are storing. So, we explain the concept of trees, we outline the important properties of trees. We explain the different operations of width that you can do with tries and then we try to explain the different types of tries where we explained uh, the standard type of tries, the compressed tries, then suffixed tries and then finally, patricia tries. So, all of them are trying to, um, I mean the uh, standard try, after that all the others are trying to save the space. With that, we finish this module, thank you.